I think you know, it has not been possible today to conduct research with ayahuasca in the United States, and there are two reasons for that. One is that it's very difficult in general to do any kind of um, uh, research with psychedelics because of, uh, you know, you know, real and, um, and imagined uh, restrictions on, on doing that work. The medical profession has a lot of resistance to embracing this as a, as a model, but the, um, the, the validation provided by the court and the legal sanction it's given should really pave the way. Now, another complication, of course, is it's hard to do research with plant products themselves. So this may mean that the active alkaloids will be examined as, you know, in a medical context before the plants will because you need a standardized, uh, you, know, uh, you know, sample to administer to your subjects. But, you know, in any event, I think this is an area, you know, ripe for medical and psychiatric investigation. And I think uh, over time it may very well be possible to establish a significant uh, uh, therapeutic action that this, this compound has when utilized under optimal circumstances.